I was a driver. At that time, many guys couldn't drive, even the older fellas. I think we only had one fella. Oh, the captain was the only one that had a car. <laughs> Nobody had a car back there then, see, because cars were. And in fact, a lot of those old timers didn't drive. Because I know a lot of them that learned how to drive after they came in the fire department. And they were way up in their 40s and all, you know. And I was just, I was, I think I was about 15 or 16 when I learned how to drive. Because I, I was born in South Philadelphia. And down there then, the neighborhood, of all the kids were all gung-ho back in their 20s and 30s learning how to drive. So that's how I got my license. And I was very fortunate about that because it did help me you know, on, on jobs, you know. And when I went in there, the captain, there's one thing he liked about me, I could drive. And a lot of those old timers, and a lot of days when they were short of men and thinking that he'd call on me. He said, Alma, you get up there, you're driving today. So i drive. And uh, I, uh, I didn't particularly like that driving because I wasn't used to driving nothing like that. The trucks that we had at that particular time were all... World War I artillery trucks. And they converted them into fire trucks. Hmm. They made fire trucks. They had solid rubber tires on them. They didn't have the balloon tires like they have today. The steering wheel was on your right hand side, not on your left hand side. Hmm. And by being little and short, I had to get those big old stuff pillars. I had one to sit on and one behind me. Because my feet and legs couldn't reach the pedal and out here see you were on this side you were driving on this side the, the gear shift was out here on the outside thing oh, wow. oh yeah and it, it was it was hard driving those things and a lot of those guys couldn't handle it but i managed it and uh well one day we responded to a fire in in south philadelphia around 23rd and south and an old battalion chief said to me, he said, boy, he said to me, boy, why don't you put some oil on them brakes? Because the brakes are squeaking. I said, I never heard nobody put no oil on no brakes. And what did I say that for? When we got back to the station, returned to the station, the phone rang, the fire phone, they call it, rang, and, and put the captain on. He said, Captain, who was that man that was driving the truck? He said, Alma. So he said, well, put him on the phone. So he put me on the phone, and he said, boy, do you know? He said, boy, he called you boy just like you was a baby, you know. And uh, he said, do you know where the airport is? I said, no, sir, chief. He told me who he was. He said, well, you've just been transferred there. And get your bag and get down there now. I said, now this is a heck of a thing to do to him. Because I said to him about brakes, you know, oil on the brakes. Well, anyway, that was in 1950. And I went down to the airport. Now, the airport was nothing like it is today. We only had four men there. Now they have two or three hundred men, you know, at the airport fire station. And we only had four at that time. And we had a little station. It was, a, they, they call it a hut. And we had a little Ford truck. And planes were coming in so infrequently, you know, now and then a plane would come in, you know, they didn't get much traffic or anything. 